A fierce battle to take back control of a key city. Al Shaddadi, a stronghold and important logistics hub of the Islamic State organization. Less than one kilometer away, the jihadist group's black flag. Get ready to shoot. Backed by US-led coalition airstrikes, the Syrian Democratic Forces, an alliance of Kurdish and Arab militias, surround this region rich in oil and gas, an operation that mobilized some 5,000 troops. We're accused of not treating Arabs and Kurds the same way, but it's not true. Here there are Arabs, Kurds, Christians, we're united. There's no discrimination. Now cornered, the IS militants send in suicide bombers. The car is booby-trapped. Shoot, shoot. From a different position, another Kurdish fighter films the suicide bomber as he speeds towards the group in a bulletproof vehicle. But rocket fire brings his charge to an end. I'm happy. I'm the one who destroyed him. Well done. God willing, we'll be in Al Shaddadi in two hours. We're going to free the town and raise a flag of the Syrian Democratic Forces. The IS group retreats, but victory takes another few days. Village after village, sniper shot after sniper shot, the SDF fighters make gains. I have to go, but take care of yourselves. You can sleep peacefully without any worries now. You're safe. Those civilians who chose not to flee their homes are relieved and welcome the troops with open arms. The takeover of al-Shaddadi by the Syrian Democratic Forces has put an end to a terrifying two-year rule by the Islamic State. This was the town hall, but the IS group set up their Islamic police here. They judged people, they executed them, and crucified them on this pole. Several jihadists were killed in the U.S. airstrikes, but according to Abu Hani, civilian lives were also lost. In this bakery, 21 people were killed. Apart from them, we haven't found civilian bodies in al Shaddadi's streets. In a sign of victory, the Syrian Democratic Forces hoisted their yellow flag in al Shaddadi. They're planning to remove the black and white propaganda of the Islamic State group in the coming days.